So let's move and create a view model that is going to be controlling our uh, add loan view. I'm going to do it right after my add loan view command then. And uh, you can keep Swift UI or Swift, whatever you choose, doesn't matter. Um, this is going to be called uh, add loan view model. So it's basically the name of our view, we just add model at the end. And what I'm going to do is delete everything from here. And instead of the struct, I'm going to call this final class add view model. And we are not going to conform to the protocol of view. Instead, we are going to conform to observable object. So our uh, class here can be observed and whatever variable uh, we have, not observed object, observable object. Command P, make sure we don't have any errors. And um, what we can do is starting actually to, we want to stop this. I don't know why this preview keeps jumping on me. Let's just close this. We don't want to canvas. Um, let's move all these things to our uh, view model because we don't want to keep them here. So I'm going to copy them and put them here. Instead of state, uh, we are going to make them published. So let's select everything. If you shift uh, option and select, you can select uh, multiple things. And uh, we can say add publish, published var and then all our items. So now we can go to our add loan view. At the top here, we need to initialize our uh, add loan model. So let's say add and um, when you are initializing a model, um, there are two ways of initializing it. The first one is at state object var, uh, let's call this view model is equals to our add loan view model and we initialize it and let's get rid of all these. And the second option is instead of a state object, you say observed object. And uh, when you should use each one of these observed object, you don't initialize, you just say that this is an add loan view model. Let me just put an O here so Xcode doesn't complain. So whenever we are initializing uh, the view model for the first time, it's best to you. Uh, it's not best. You have to use the state object. While if you are going to initialize the view model on another view and pass it here, you are you are going to use the observed object. Um, we're going to now keep the state object, but a little bit later when we change the way our code works, we're going to change this into observed object and you will see what's the difference. So right now I'm initializing a view model as a state object. All this is not really needed anymore. If I command P, Xcode will complain that uh, I cannot find the name, I cannot find the mount, start date, due date, because this is commented out. But uh, we can actually go ahead and get rid of it. What happened is we moved everything to our view model. So if I copy the name view model, because I'm going to use it quite some uh, four times actually, uh, we're going to access the name through our view model. So we say dollar sign dot view model dot name dot amount dot start date and dot due date, because everything here, if you command click, jump to definition, these things are stated in our view model. And our code is much cleaner now. We have only our view model here and everything is accessed through our view model. All right, um, so there is one thing we can uh, work on now 
is to show our view model, uh, our add item view, because right now, if we go here in on our application, at least we can run it. We don't have any way of showing this add loan view. I can click it just automatically adds another loan. So let's go to our loans view. And we're going to create an option to add an item uh, and actually show it uh, modally. Let's scroll up. Um, we have a lot of code here. We need to actually make it uh, clean up here. Let's get this, get rid of this item formatter. It's not even uh, used anymore. Um, yeah, let, let's keep it for now and we will uh, format this into MVVM as well. Um, but uh, in this course, I want to show you two ways how you can load items from the core data. One is this at fetch request and the other one we're going to do manually. You will see both ways anyway. So um, for us uh, to show some view modally, Swift UI is declarative uh, programming language, which means that uh, we have to declare all the different options uh, for our UI and then we just change the value of something and based on this new value, our UI will change completely. So for example, for us now to show another view modally, we have to create it and have it ready and say uh, when uh, value changes, please show our uh, view, for example. And um, this is going to be on our uh, list here. Uh, this is actually in our navigation control and this is the body. So after our accent color, we are going to say sheet and uh, this sheet will be presented and uh, we have an item which is binding, uh, binding identifier. Uh, actually, we don't need that one. We need the one is presented, which is a binding pool. Then we have on uh, dismiss and we have the content. On dismiss and content, we are not interested in and we are interested only on this binding. And then we just put uh, curly braces for the content here. So um, we're going to give it a Boolean value which uh, once we switch it is going to show our sheet or uh, stop showing it, which will dismiss it. So let's create that here. I'm going to call this at state var and let's call this is add view, uh, sorry, add loan showing. And this by default will be false because we don't want to show that. And here we will bind this. So we say dollar sign is add loan showing. And if this is true, whatever is here will be shown. So let's say add loan view. And we are going to initialize one. So when we want to show this, when we click on our button, we don't want to add an item because uh, we have enough items, we will do it properly. Instead, we will just say is at loan showing equals to true. So let's try now. Once I click my button, this value will switch to true. It will tell our uh, variable here that the value was switched because it's at state. Our Swift UI knows that something changed. We need to look what we have to update in our UI. Come down here. Uh, is sheet presented? Now it says true. And let's show the add loan view. So let's try this. Click on create uh, the plus button. And you can see the state changed and we are in add loan view. And we can click here, command K to get our keyboard and this. You can see we haven't add this uh, keyboard setup for our amount to be only uh, number pad there. And also our buttons don't do anything. I can dismiss it by pulling it down, but we want our buttons also to work. So somehow 
we can pass this uh, is at the loan showing to our uh, add loan view and when we click on a button here we want to switch it to false and then it will disappear our view but um, uh, what else uh, oh, bu 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 bu. Ah, we want to put our text field some um, add loan view for our text fields we want to add some parameters so that our keyboard will have a different look so let's add on the name and I'm going to say dot uh, let's say auto capitalization we want to set it to dot sentence and on our second we want to say that the keyboard type we want to have the number pad let's try to run it now and click on add amount now we have only our numbers and the name if I type something the first word will be capital so it's easier for our user to create an item with nice capital letter